Welcome back to the Earthborn Games Playcast. It's more it's a morning time episode and I'm feeling good. We all got our coffees in us. And um where are we? We're on day two. two. Oh yeah, yeah. Pull out the campaign tracker okay, and throw it in the middle. Let's talk about it. We're on day two. Yep. What has happened? I just got some fishing rods. I know that. Vaulting yeah. rod. Yeah, we helped Artel and um we got a mission from the Elder, Elder Murtok, yeah. um, at White Sky, um, to help take care of a uh, predator, um, so we could, you know, put in more effort to do that, or we could just ignore it. And yeah, we were on our way to the Northern Outpost to see what's going on there. The Northern Outpost. Do we have the map out here? Uh, yes, I <laughs> took it to have it ready, and I don't have it ready. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so, so you guys just headed up from Golden Shore here yep. up to the northern outpost there. And so uh, you kind of camp at the end of each day in this game. Uh, well, I, uh, ideally you camp. If you uh, ended the day by traveling, you're able to camp and customize your decks. If the day ended due to somebody being fatigued out or injured, uh, you'll just stay at the same location you ended the day at. You won't have an opportunity to customize your decks or anything. But, but we, we did customize your deck, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, and Anders, I think you added Artel's Folting Rod to your deck, right? I did, because we helped him discover what was scaring, cool. scaring the fish, right? Well, you uh, found a, 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 a better fishing yeah, spot. Primo uh, spot. Yeah, you're not that, really sure what's scaring the that fish. That was the name of the mission, too, right? A better fishing spot? Or am I making that up? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just making that up. Yeah, okay. uh, you wrote a notable event on your sheet, I think, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, called Found the Perfect oh, Fishing the, Spot. Oh, the Perfect Fishing Spot. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Um, so... Uh, before we get started with the game, we'll have to make sure that you so customize like, your deck correctly. So did you swap out a card when you swapped in Artel's Rod? I didn't. Okay. And these Artel, these are reward cards, right? Is that what you call them? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you'll notice, Anders, that there's um, three uh, approach icons that you can contribute to a check. So it's, nice. right away, it's already... Um, Super you know, versatile. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the, the almost all the rewards have three icons. A lot of them have two of the same one, which is pretty powerful. Um, Artel's Vaulting Rod is just more versatile, so you can contribute it to three quarters of the checks you'll see in the you tests go, you'll see in the game. You can go fishing with it. You can go fishing. Yeah. Do some awareness and what is this one? Conflict. 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 I think that's what, the, the the difference between those two things was really like hanging me up mm -hmm. in the previous episodes and. The names aren't super important. It's it's mostly just about matching the icon, right? Right, 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 right. Um, what else can it do? It can do various things, right? Yeah. Test. So it, it's um, Artel uses it to vault around the lake, and so like there's these poles sticking out of the lake, and Artel will kind of vault between them. And so using his fishing rod, you can vault between various um, poles. Like you can vault across obstacles, and then you can also just fish with it if there's a water feature. In Who came up with that? The, the vaulting thing? Yeah. Ah, uh, man. That was... It's something that came out of just writing this character and this quest yeah. and trying to land on what the reward card was. So I think originally the reward was just a fishing pole. Mm. Uh, but then... I was trying to make point, it more interesting. At some point, someone created a... Yeah. A, yeah. That it, it, was, it also doubled Chris, as like a vaulting, yep. vaulting mm. rod. Chris Beck I love that. concepted the whole vaulting rod as part of the um, developing Artel's look. So... And then I took Chris's early concepts and incorporated it into trying to show that function as a fishing rod. Yeah, it's kind of, oh. so it kind of like became it's just almost crazy. like a pogo stick yeah. with yeah. a fishing rod sticking yeah. out of it. I'm going to steal that for a video game in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Would that not be amazing? All right, so what cards should I replace, do you think? Uh, it's kind of up to you. Um, since you were mostly contributing your cards as approach icons in the first um, day, you haven't played as many cards, uh, so... So uh, it, this would be just a purely an approach card here? Uh, yeah, the, the personality cards are usually most people's first choice just because they solely contribute approach icons and usually don't have a way to play them. Yeah. So they're usually a safer bet, but it kind of depends because a couple of the personalities are pretty powerful. So sometimes I, uh, you know, if I regret a choice in character creation, I might swap out a, a different card earlier. Uh, so listen to your heart, Anders. Just swap yeah. out what you think you can. Uh, you just set those cards aside. And they are available in the future if you want to customize them back into your deck uh, cool, later cool. on. So you, you can change your mind tomorrow, assuming uh, you guys camp at the end of the day. This is what I'm going to do. survive. I'm going to swap these out. Okay. <laughs> we survive. Nice. Cool. Is that a good idea? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
All right. So, mm -hmm. uh, and Evan, that, I think that's your only reward, so there's no other deck customization, right? Yeah, I both of the reward cards copies went to Anders, so. All right, cool. Well, then we're ready to start the day. So um, you can pull out the, the campaign tracker again and throw it in the middle just to... Um, so we can kind of see where, where you guys were at. Um, I'm going to walk through the game setup steps so that uh, we don't, uh, so, so that we correctly teach the, the <laughs> our order viewers, of operations. Yeah, <laughs> our viewers the, the game here. Um, so first we set, start by setting up your player areas here. Uh, we've already kind of done that ahead of time. You've got your aspects, your role, your deck all set up. Uh, then we're going to draw our starting hands. So you can each draw six cards. Done. I think, Evans, you've already done that. Uh, assuming you've shuffled your deck, Anders, you can go ahead and draw six cards. I scouted my deck first before I... No, I'm kidding. Cheater. <laughs> <laughs> you can also mulligan if you want to. It has... You can... Uh, Would a mulligan be a complete redraw? No, you keep the cards that you want, and then you discard mm -hmm. the ones you don't, redraw, and then shuffle. Okay. I almost have my trifecta here, so I'm not going to mulligan anything. Yeah. My energized grieves. Oh, you... Universal power those. cells, and I'm just hoping for a moment of desperation. <laughs> so you can throw more yeah. stuff at wolves. Yeah. You know, those, Good mulligans. Those, those gear cards have other uses. Other than yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Blunt weapons. Um, all right, uh, then uh, which one of you wants to be the lead ranger today? I think you should. Okay, I'm ready to lead. All right, Anders, you're lead ranger. Uh, we've shuffled the challenge deck. Uh, actually, I haven't shuffled deck. You get a shuffle. Yes. Uh, then we uh, set up our starting location. Uh, so on the campaign uh, campaign tracker, it should show where we ended, which is Northern Outpost, which we've already gotten out here. Yep, it says Northern Outpost and Woods was the path that we took. Add this again. Location Northern Outpost, Woods. Woods, yep, <laughs> all right. And then um, we got our weather card. So the current weather today, it is still a perfect day. Yes. Good news for you, for you, the first few days here. <laughs> um, then uh, uh, we set up our mission cards. Uh, you completed the biscuit delivery mission, but we've got a lure mission here. Uh, as Evan said, you agreed to help lure out Quiet, uh, a large lynx who has been threatening White Sky. Um, then we're going to build and shuffle the path deck. Um, so we've added the woods cards, and we're at Northern Outpost, so we added the Northern Outpost cards. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't completed this yet, right? No. no. Nice. That's, That's the one we're thinking of, yeah. Yeah, um, whenever we uh, clear a prey card, I believe mm -hmm. we can set it aside. Right, 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 right. right. And once we total five presents, mm -hmm. then there's a we may trigger something. I will have to look into it if that opportunity arrives. When a prey is cleared, set it aside. Okay. Was the, was the instruction to get five? Was that in the book? It's on the card. Oh, it's on the card. Oh, oh, on the uh, side. Uh, no, 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 on the other side. Uh, near the top. Yep. When the price cleared, set it aside. I'm just wondering where the five. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So the the your kind of objective is usually in that kind of green box, uh, and that'll kind of show what your ultimate goal yeah. is. Yeah. So it says arrive at a new location while there is five or more total presence of price set aside, and then you read a an entry. Nice. And that'll lead to the next part of the part of the mission. All right. Um, now we resolve arrival setup. So. Uh, Andrew, do you want to read the entry for Northern Outpost? I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> the hike through the dark and gloomy woods has taken you hours, but you finally reach the Northern Outpost. Read one. If you've fixed up the Northern Outpost, read. If you have not fixed up the Northern Outpost, otherwise, we read this. Scraps of wood, cloth, leather, and paneling lie scattered about the exterior. After long years of neglect, the forest around seems to press in on the outpost from all sides. Search the northern outpost set for the deep woods and put it into play. So, I already, put, I already uh, brushed, shuffled that in. Okay. So I'll grab it. In the deep woods. Did you pack mm -hmm. your uh, deep woods off? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that has an interest. Is that a card? <laughs> that would be, that would I'm going to be yeah, that'd be really cool. <laughs> Some weird, like, what do you call that? <laughs> Magical realism. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The deep woods. The evergreen woods of the northern mountains consist of massive rotting cedars intermixed with silver firs draped in hanging moss. No light filters down from the canopy, leaving the forest floor a gloomy cathedral, crowded with tree trunks and lichen-covered rocks. You can't see more than a few meters ahead, and all around you, the forest seems completely quiet. 
Mm. Okay, I think the, um, it looks like, let's read the functionality of this. Because <clears throat> it looks like with all the text, it's probably something that yeah. we can do. Um, so awareness plus um, traverse. We can hide in the dense undergrowth to move your ranger token to this feature. While your ranger token is on this feature, you can use the following response. Response. When a being fatigues you, you may add any number of uh, harm to this feature to prevent an, an equal and equal amount of fatigue. Um, so it's, we kind of just shrug off incoming uh, fatigue and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sounds like. Yeah, while you're hiding, yeah, while you're yeah, hiding in the woods, you can kind of avoid things. That's cool. I'll be doing that. Okay. And then the, the Blue Mountain effect is exhaust this feature. Search the path deck for the next predator and put it into play. Okay. All right. So it's it's a little dangerous to have out because it can it can start spawning predators on you every round, which gets pretty oh, yeah. rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I All think, right. I so think we, we probably want to. Yeah, oh, I think we have one more thing in the campaign guide. We here. do have one oh, more thing in the campaign guide <laughs> sorry. to read. Um, all right. You find a note tacked to the door. It reads. I went to go investigate a strange presence in the forest. Be back by the full moon. If I'm not, I'm probably in trouble. Signed, Lun. You step inside, but it's deserted. The note said Lun should have been back days ago. Sounds like he probably needs help. The rangers choose. You can look for Lun, or not. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That sounds hard. <laughs> no, we probably should. Well, I mean, you know, like, it is funny because some of these options will say, like, do you want to take this or not? But you do have to consider that like every mission you have has a mission card that sits in play up there in the surroundings and can add more uh, challenge effects and things that weigh on you. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes if you overload yourself with missions, you can actually find yourself find yourself making the game quite a bit harder for you. So yeah. there there is an argument to be made for you know picking your battles. Yeah. But are you going to leave poor Lun hanging? You know. Yeah, I think, I mean, we could probably handle two missions. Yeah, and Lund probably has some reward for us. Yeah. If we find his sorry If ass. we get him in time. <laughs> um, is Lund a good person? <laughs> I, you, you don't know. You'll have to meet him. You're like new to, to the Rangers. Out. I'd like to find out who this Lund is. Okay, head back to Lone Tree, ask is Corner what saving? the deal with Lund is. <laughs> um... Let's find Lun, why not? Yeah, let's do it. All right. I think we should. So it gain the us. search Lun mission. Record. So get the... Uh, Anders, if you can grab the mission cards from over there, the middle stack. This yeah. One. yeah, that one there. And, <laughs> and grab the uh, campaign tracker there so that we can write on it. I'll take uh, cards. Anders, are you afraid he's going to be just some sort of weird survivalist that's going <laughs> to that trick us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just like this lure cry, it oh, yeah, yeah. search Lun in parentheses. Is that a pen or a pencil? Oh, that's a pen. But you can do it in you can do it in pen. Yeah. It doesn't go away. Okay, I didn't know. Right. Uh, and then record 94.7 three days from now on the campaign tracker. So would that be on day five? Or uh, day oh, five. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Oops. So yeah, you're currently on day two. So. 94.94.7. Classic rock station. <laughs> I was just wondering, yeah. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Somewhere it is. Somewhere it is. Oh, yeah. maybe? Email us, let us know if that's a. Yeah, classic tell us what 94.7 is in your town. Right. <laughs> if you remember, if you still have radios. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just going to ask a dumb question just because people might want to know. This is this is how much these cost to use, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So you'll, you'll you'll spend that much energy to use the effect printed on the card if instead of contributing it. Cool. All right. So now you have the search mission. Um, so if you're so what you're going to want to be doing is looking around for one. So if your current location is not a ranger station, when a feature comes into play, place two trail tokens on it, and then when the card. When a card with trail tokens on it is cleared, place those tokens on this card. So uh, each time a feature comes into play, you'll put some tokens on it, then you'll work toward trying to clear it, and when it clears, you get to put tokens on here. Once you have eight tokens, because of the two players, then this will flip over and you'll go to the other part of the mission. Mm. Okay, and what, what was the thing about the ranger station? Or? So you can't look for him at the ranger station, okay. because so, if, if he was near a ranger yeah, yeah. station, he'd be found. So if there are cards in here that are features that are associated with the... 
the uh, northern outpost, then we couldn't benefit from Correct. putting tokens You'll on You'll need those. to get out of here. It'd have first. to be woods, or what if there's woods features? No, it has, it has oh. nothing to do with the feature. It has everything to do with the location. Okay, so we have to get out of here. Yeah, you have to leave this location since this is a ranger station. Okay, well, we got to quickly... I mean, we we're going to check this place up, but it sounds like we got to leave and yeah. look for them. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, for, for looking for Lun, yeah, you'll have to get out of this location. For Luring Quiet, you'll just have to find other beings. Um, so you've got a decent number of priorities now. So yeah, you can travel away, you can explore here. It's kind of up to you. You guys, I was just turning over the cards and I think I found them, he's right here. <laughs> <laughs> can we just Done. do that? It's right here. Done. It's Easy game. <laughs> well, I mean to finish set up. Yep, so I think you each draw a path card, starting with the lead ranger, yeah. who's on, which is Anders. Oh, what am I doing? Um, I'm gonna put Overgrown thicket along the way. Oh no! Good old overgrown. Now we can't put progress on the location because it's an obstacle. Yeah. Right. All right, Evan. Do you want to draw a card? I knew it. Yep. I knew it. This is an obstacle as well, right? No. No. Yeah, that, it doesn't have the trait. Oh, obstacle. Or is that a keyword? I guess uh, trait. Keyword. Is yeah. It is both. The okay. Ah, yeah, so you can it, just it move. appears on both lines. You can move right through anything if it doesn't have obstacle. Correct. It just or fatigues being. you. You can also move through beings like that. Oh, it does fatigue you. Yeah. yeah, it'll deal its presence, that little purple number there, it'll deal that much fatigue to you. Okay, so that's something I didn't really quite grasp yet. Yeah. Obstacle means it must be exhausted or cleared. Or cleared. Yeah. It always blocks you versus other things just kind of stress you. Fatigue out you. If you. Okay, yeah, cool. So you could, you could try to like zip through the deep woods to put progress on Northern Outpost, but because it is so dense, it's going to take a lot of effort to get through there, so it would be three fatigue. To, to go through the deep woods. Right, right. Mm. All right, so you finish that up, and now you're going to be drawing the first path card of the round each. Mm. So okay. start with the lead ranger. Drawing the first. Yeah, oh, so that was just path. set up. And yeah. Now you're oh. drawing the round. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there is a Sitka doe within mm -hmm. reach of me. Look at this. <gasps> Holy cow. That's a new one. Oh, whoops, yeah. Along the way. Check out the light. What is the number on that? Um, it's 39. 39. All right. Trick of the light. Thirty-nine point two. You see a dark shadow moving through the trees. You freeze, trying to get a better look at it. The shape seems humanoid, but taller than you with a slightly forward-sloping posture. It steps into the light for a moment, and you catch a glimpse of a being covered in long fur. Then it steps behind a tree and vanishes. You hurry to the spot where you last saw it, but find nothing. You'll have to clear a trick of the light with progress to track down the mysterious figure. Mm, dang. We have a lot of progress that we have to make. <laughs> yes, there is. I mean, we have to put eight on here just to find one. And eight on here, unless we want to fatigue ourselves a bunch. There's one more thing to read. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, you look for impressions in the ground or broken twigs, for something, anything, to give evidence of this strange being. This would really interest an experienced tracker, like Cordo down at Lone Tree. Hmm. Cordo? We didn't speak with him when we were at Lone Tree, so... Oh, we didn't? Hmm. Okay. I want to talk <clears> about All right, so you guys have a lot to do. Uh, a lot of it's kind of up to you how to tackle. A lot of intrigue going on here. <laughs> I you really guys... want to know what that is. Yeah, I, I do too. Like, that's what I want to find right away. But that's on your... Is it along no. the way for both of us? Yeah, it's yeah. for both of us. So if I go through here, I'm taking fatigue on all of these? Just this one. Just right. if, if you um, interact... If I want to go all the way here. Yeah, if yes. you, you want to go all the way here, you'll take fatigue from these. If you want to go and interact with any of these three cards, you'll just take fatigue from your sick Sitkado, which is only one, yeah. so not too bad. Right. You can, if you don't want to even take that fatigue, you can uh, use your avoid test here to exhaust her down. Um, but one fatigue isn't too bad. I think you'll find as you keep playing that uh, sometimes strategically taking fatigue to get things done faster is worth it. Yeah? So, is yeah. it worth it? Okay. Yeah, like, if it helps, like imagine it like there's these invisible, like imagine that you're like standing in front of a series of several walls, like drywall. Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> this being here is, there's nothing between you and that being, but between you, this being and here, there's a thing of drywall. Mm -hmm. And you could barrel through that drywall 
break through it, <laughs> but it's going to tire you out. And then yeah. imagine now you see these things, and there's another sheet of drywall behind it. You could barrel through that, but that's going to tire you out even more. Mm -hmm. So uh, just imagine these as, as layers, of, uh, right. layers of effort through which you're pushing. So I'm thinking, like, how many times am I going to have like to go Like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was imagining <laughs> that whole time you're saying that brilliant analogy. Um, it was. Uh, I'm like, do I want to take that fatigue every time I go to put progress on these because these may take a little little while but I don't know well we shouldn't be scared of Sitka dough taking fatigue okay. it can come back in our hands yeah I will and... say before you start going in on the trick of the light that it is it is kind of a difficult thing so it has a Sun effect on it, it says if there's an odd number of progress on this feature shuffle it into the path deck so oh, so it you, goes away. It will go away. So, and it, you need to get eight on here to clear it. Quick. So you either need to try to take your chances with the challenge deck, hope you don't get a sun, or just hammer on that thing as much as you can and hope you don't get an eye. What if we both hammer on it right away? Well, I, I, we could we could try that. Um, it's a little <laughs> more, more risky for me because I got this guy in front of me, and the more ch checks we make, the more chances there will be of um, him causing an injury. To me, but if yeah. I have some fatigue, um, and he's gonna he's gonna fatigue me more if I try to move through him. This is where Anders can help. So, what oh. is your role? Oh, <laughs> so my roll card. This is something that we we were not taking into consideration for the past few episodes. Each roll card has its own ability, and mine is that I can exhaust a being's presence, reduce a being's presence to zero until the end of your turn. So I can even do that to your guys? So I guess it's just for you. It's just so for you. you can't okay. help them, but you can help yourself. <laughs> just go on without me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Evan, Evan with one I know, awareness. I know, it's tricky. We're, we're, we're going to have to get you some rewards in that deck, I yeah. think, to, to kind of help <laughs> offset that. And is my turn, is my turn just, like, turn? It's not, the, turn. Whole, it's not the whole yeah, round. Not the round, yeah. But can I use this at... You, it only unexhausts at the end of the round. So okay. you basically get one turn to do during that. this round that you can get that benefit. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Let's take my turn then. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Either of you can start for the round. If what do you think about this, oh. playing this? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use one focus to play that. What does it say? It says, thank you. <laughs> it says, in, intention translator. It's a gear. Tech aid, exhaust one, exhaust, use one charge when a ranger performs a connect test. Commit one effort. Ooh, so you if go. you put three counters on that, then you could help me Because there's three connect charges. with this, this bad boy right here. Oh, I can? Mm -hmm. How would I help you then? It it's, says a ranger. Yeah, a ranger. Oh, so a either ranger. Of us. When a ranger performs a connect test, commit one effort. Cool, that's one charge. That's awesome. I'm going to, um, let me try to connect with this thing. Um, we'll see you how it goes. You can't use my charges, though. <laughs> <laughs> Greedy. Well, I, I better go all this. in then. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, so. I want to. I want to help you get rid of that. Oh, yeah. dang, Evan! Two cards right off the bat. Huh? Yeah. Wow. I'm I, Th throwing away masterwork. Yeah. Why well, don't I have any tech that? Oh uh, yeah. I can benefit from, um, or gear, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's four. Okay. Oh, you want to use? You want to use this? Yeah, that'd be great. So it'd be five yeah, total. So, if well, you can only use one, one. yeah, per turn. Okay, there we go. Okay, so five, zero. Did wow. I just so that, you, does that exhaust that? Gear? It does exhaust. Yeah. So uh, you have use, to exhaust. use the blue ones for progress. Oh yeah. Sorry. You have to exhaust it. Oh, oh exhaust this. Yep. So five, and then I don't exhaust it or anything. It just has progress on it. Yep. Uh, now uh, do your mountain effects. Oh yeah. Uh, ooh. If this test added progress, add an additional progress. Oh, look at that. Perfect day. Perfect day is great. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm going to steal some of these for over here. Oh, you didn't just exhaust it there. He was connecting with it. Oh, you're connecting. Yeah. If I were to, if I would, if I would have avoided it, then I would have exhausted it. But mm -hmm. I only have one awareness, and I'm not really good at avoiding things. Okay. I do have some bad news for you. You should uh, keep doing your mountain oh, no. effects. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I now I move down to mission. Mm -hmm. uh, the trail grows cold. 
Remove one trail token from a feature. You don't need to worry about that one. Yeah. Okay. Because we don't have trail tokens since you're at a ranger token station. But that'll give you a preview of how the mountain effects will work later on. So now at this point, I can choose which one I want to trigger first. Correct. Yeah. Yep. You can okay. inside the same area. You'll start up here and go down, and then down to within reach. Within a given area, you can choose what order they go. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm reading the deep woods. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the one I was apologizing for. <laughs> Exhaust this feature. Search the path deck for the next predator and put it into play. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Super cool. Uh, behind that wall hunt, there was another wall hunt. Oh, uh -oh. did I just go with the next like that from the top? Yeah, from the top. Yeah. Wasn't that one? It was the next predator? Oh, next no. Predator? I think that's just a biomel. He's not, not a predator. predator. He's not a predator. Oh. Good. Oh, no, there he on. is. No. And I shuffle this up, obviously. Yep. No, dude. Great turn. <laughs> okay, I have a couple of questions of that. So this exhausts till when? Exha it says until the end of the round. Till the end of the round. So yep, you can use it once per round. Correct. Yep. Everything unexhausts at the end of the round. So any beings that you exhausted using a void and stuff will pop back up, and any of your abilities. Uh, will unexhaust as well. So like your gear and your roll will un unexhaust. So when something ca uh, exhausts, it's basically saying once per round. It's just a good, nice, easy way of tracking it. Cool. Exhaust we should once per round. <clears throat> Someone should make a meme of of Mo throwing uh, Barney out of the uh, out of the bar, only to reappear behind him, except replace Barney with, <laughs> with, with, uh, the <laughs> with the wool hunt. <laughs> okay. Well. All right, Anders, you're up. It is what it is. I had one more question. Mm -hmm. You probably already taught me this in a previous episode, but so when you, if I were, if you were to just traverse this rather than you connect, cannot traverse a being. Okay, you're connecting or connecting is for beings. Traversing on. is for the location or features, and it says it says it in the test. So you just have to read the read the test. It'll tell you what you can do with what. Okay. Yeah. So features are going to be inanimate objects like. Uh, uh, this this trick of the light is a feature, uh, despite what shape you may see in the the light. Uh, the deep woods is a feature. Over in thicket is a feature. But then these, uh, like the cicadoza being, so is the wolf hunt. Because what I understood last time was if you put harm, it will um, be removed. That will also do that. Okay. And I thought when you did presence, you exhausted it. No, no. That's just for when would you exhaust it? Just for various is, other reasons. So yeah, presence is this. Yeah, and this is progress. So progress in it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you connect with a being, then you'll put progress on it. If you harm it, you'll put harm on it. Um, and then if you reach the threshold of either of these numbers, it will clear. Okay, it clears. Okay. It's just it, so they, they they're kind of in the same place because they work the same. Mm -hmm. They um, they're both ways of kind of dealing with this creature mechanically, but they have some differences thematically because harm is kind of representing you. You know, harming or scaring it. Yeah. Whereas progress is you connecting with it or traversing it or whatever else, and so not traversing it. Well, it, it, that would be confusing because it, it says traverse is a test. So I just don't want to confuse Anders. Um. Oh, sorry. I, I kind of meant for the features. <laughs> I see what you're since, saying. Yeah, since yeah. there's progress on the okay. features, yeah. um, so they both are representative of ways to get rid of the card, but they're kind of how you do it, and so different cards have different ways of adding harm or progress. Harm thresholds are usually kind of lower but you're going to have to find a weapon and use the weapon. And clearing things with harm, sometimes they'll have different journal entries. Mm -hmm. And so like clearing something with harm can, you know, it represents you attacking it. And so it can have different ramifications mm -hmm. in the journal if it's like a named character or something than clearing it with progress, which kind of represents talking to them or otherwise connecting with them. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so I still have to continue resolving the mountain effects. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you not do the last one? You don't one? have no. to do this one. Uh, right. The overgrown thicket, though. There's nothing there. Oh, okay. There's no progress, progress, progress on it. So, so you're good. We're good for Anders to go. Okay. All right. Well, let's see here. At least you did exhaust the deep woods. So you don't have to do that. You don't have to worry about that happening again. That's, yeah. Like, yep. <laughs> Sorry. I just. It's okay. <laughs> I was just kind of bummed that I spent all that spirit. <laughs> it, was, it was a great test. Yeah. Getting a six. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Six that was, was cool. Great. I. Hmm. I'm inclined to like try to connect with this Cicadel. Yeah. I think it's a good yeah. call. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Um. Maybe just put three on. Yeah. All right. Just connect for three. Yeah. 
You can even, there's plus ones in that deck, yeah, you so can, you, you okay. can maybe just complete it. All right, let's go. Let's or go. the mountain, you could do perfect day. Let's get a plus one spirit. Come on. Zero, that's okay. Yeah, All right. Come yeah, you'll get the yeah. mountain. So so you complete and add three for your three effort that you got. What are we using for that again? Blue. Well, the blue. Yeah, right. Makes so sense. match the blue little box. Makes perfect sense. And, and then go ahead and do the mountain effect. So we start up here. This is a add pres added progress, add another one, so we clear that dough, yeah. correct? Yeah. Fantastic. Nice. And then we we, we, are, we just did these for Evan, so we know the mission doesn't apply here. This one's exhausted, so we don't do it, and this one doesn't have progress. So We're that, done. that's it, and Success. that's your test. Success. Nice. Okay. Um, Good job, Anders. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have another so dough immediately pop out. Right, right. <laughs> Though they are kind Unlike of somebody. <laughs> well, I would say, you know, completing that, clearing that wool hunt and getting the mountain is better than not clearing the wool hunt and getting the mountain. <laughs> then we just so have it, two wool hunts. Yes, so it, is, it is definitely a success, I yeah. would say, for yeah. you, what you did, even though it might not feel like it, Evan. I could try to be a little risky and just try to avoid it. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Uh, its presence is two, and I, I my only means of avoiding it, it would be my one energy token and this card. But the card, its value is attached to the amount of energy in my pool. Oh, you have vigilance in a one awareness deck. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that, that, that replaced with the reward right away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's probably the worst one. Um, Sorry. I don't yeah, no, no, it's it's a great learning experience. I did that on purpose, so. You know, the people yeah. watching can learn. He did this for you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just try to add progress to something and take the fatigue from the wolf. Um, even though okay. even though I could potentially suffer an injury if I keep doing that. Hmm. Um, so maybe I try to put some progress on, uh, some traversal progress on the overgrown thicket. All right. So, um... That's bold of you. Yeah, that is very bold. I'm gonna boldly walk right past this wand. Um, three. Are, you, are you saving your extra fitness or something? Uh... Just peace of mind, but I really don't have, any, <laughs> I don't have anything to spend it on, so let's just go full on. There you go. So first you're gonna take oh, your, yeah, that's take your right. fatigue. There you go. Okay. So four minus one. Oh, oh. But you got a mountain again. That's right. Nice. <laughs> so we're just gonna get hit really hard with crest. Uh, we'll be crest fallen eventually. Uh, it'll work out. It'll work out. <laughs> so we got the mountain. Yeah. So uh, mountain. So we get the bonus again, even though it was minus one to the check. Right. Add an additional. Yep. So so yeah. you added three because you're four yep. reduced to three, and now we're doing mountain effects, and this gets just add. If you added progress, you add one. And that'll oh, clear. Sweet. Clear that. Nice. So I can just start making progress on that that uh, location now. Yeah, because Trick of the Light is zero, and this is exhausted. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the other mountain effect we know doesn't apply here. So, Anders, you're up. Nice. We're getting there. I really want to see what that Trick of the Light is. So far. <laughs> it's funny, because when we, when, we when we forget to shuffle the challenge deck in Tabletop Simulator, it, it's stacked so it all starts with mountains. So in my head, I was like, oh, we forgot to shuffle the Tabletop Simulator deck. And I'm like, wait, no, this is a physical, real deck. Command Z. Oh, wait. <laughs> it doesn't start stacked with mountains like in TTS. Control Z just refreshes the whole scene. Oh, <laughs> never Control Z. It ruins everything. <laughs> well, at, least, at least you're not so involved in TTS that you, for a second, thought you were in the TTS environment when that happened. <laughs> Flip. <laughs> How reality-bending would that be? <laughs> yeah. Fisher flips the table and it just spins forever yeah, and, and gets falls smaller through the floor, smaller. Yeah. <laughs> He accidentally spawns, like, some other game for a second. Whoops! And then <laughs> uh, I need to mic you up. I know. Um, I like yeah. it that you just show up in subtitles, though. Yeah. Oh, is that what's <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I think last time I didn't do it. That was great. So I will. Uh, so, so remind me of tests I can do if I wanted to add um, progress to this. Like You can do this. That's it? Just yep. traverse? Traverse. Yeah, because it's a feature, you, can, uh, you, you traverse, so you hike or climb over features. And so you could use the traverse to try to risk it on the trick of the light. 
or you could go, as you said before, you could go right for the northern outpost. If you guys want to travel away to look for Lun, you yeah. could go right there. Yeah. I'm so intrigued by the trick of the light, but it seems challenging. Yeah, it's not going to go away. I mean, we could always we'll go back. Yeah, well, it'll come up again. It might be hard to find, but we could get lucky. You could also, you know, try to put something that I like to do uh, when I'm playing solo is I like to try to load up the location with progress so that I have the option to oh, travel. Oh, just get out of there. Um, and then uh, I just stick around. Great tech uh, tactic. Okay. Obstacles will Focus. stop you from traveling, yeah. <laughs> so that's the one thing. That is the one danger. That's the one danger. But uh, yeah, it, it is loading up the location so that you're good to travel if the board gets kind of spooky. It's, it's, it's a yeah. good strat. <laughs> OK, I'll go, for, I'll go for the location then. All right. Make some progress on getting out of this rickety old outpost. Um, so also, traver Traverse is the, my only way. How do I go on this one, then? That's right. There's also those tokens on there. Yeah. You can clean up the outpost, too, if you wanted. Oh. That's another option. That's what this focus test is. Oh, tidy. Ooh. I do kind of want that's, I that, love tidying uh, up. Yeah. You can fix up tidy the remote outpost to discard one neglect from this location. It comes <laughs> with a play with four neglect. Uh, if you fail, it fatigues you. And then if you get rid of all the neglects, then mm. you get to read an uh, entry. So even more options of things to yeah. do. It, yeah. Yeah. At right. a certain point, you do have to focus and choose what to follow <laughs> and what to not yeah, follow. Yeah, sorry, I don't want to throw you off there. No, but that's that, fine. The, I, did, I want to make sure we got that on there. Yeah. I, I did have the thought that's that like, cool, if you wanted to uh, do a like a uh, like a heads-up display you, on you a, a stream of this, mm -hmm. you could add Still here us like, on the, like a right-hand <laughs> column that shows like all the different tests in play. Oh, uh, options you dang, all the options on stream. Yeah, I think that'd be. Corey, cool. Corey's just uh, over there like, no, no more Not heads up Corey, displays. But I think that'd be really cool. <laughs> Red time, we'll have one, one pop-up just for this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, look how stressful this is. <laughs> <laughs> if, right. if you wanted to tidy up, I'd be pretty good at that. I would just um, have to help. I can't do anything to tidy right now. Yeah, you have to do it like four times. Yeah. So I can't tidy, but yeah. I can start. Let's well, not tidy. Yeah. Okay. You can just travel. So if we start fun. tidying and then the round is over, does that clear out? No. Okay. Only when you travel. Only when you travel. Okay. I'm gonna then just play. Uh, I'm just gonna go in big. Play three. Commit three effort to traversing the location. So you can't commit oh. that one because it's the wrong icon. Yeah, oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. I, I grabbed the wrong. I was just. I was looking at the wrong thing. And I just misread the icon, so I'm going to commit two. <laughs> <laughs> um, ugh, negative one. Oh. So we got one on there. It's a start. <laughs> it's a start. Yeah. Uh, that's the. Oh, wait. Right. Yeah, we're not. Uh, yeah. So negative one. And it's a two. Oh no! Oh, there's a. I didn't realize there was that. Yeah, the difficulty of traverse here on the X is uh, equal to the presence. So. Oh. <laughs> so it's actually what? You're uh, an injury. I have an injury. Oh no. Where do I put my injuries? Uh, just throw it on your roll there. Okay. So if you if you ever suffer your third injury, if if either ranger suffers their third injury, you have to end the day to t tend to your wounds. And you also be you also are going to suffer fatigue at the beginning of every round. Every round. Yikes! Oh. So you twisted your ankle trying to get out of here. Oh <laughs> man, I failed big time. And then we're just doing the mountain effect. Yeah, but you didn't add progress, so okay. you don't get to add a bonus one. Um, that one's not in play, and this one's exhausted. So. All right, that was a big failure. <laughs> Four well. rounds in a row. Yeah. yeah. Four <laughs> <laughs> All right, Evan, you're up. I think it's time to remember it's my ranger mountains. training. <laughs> Is that a card? Is that I'm going to remember my ranger training oh, by yes, committing yes. three focus. All right. And that means I scout three. Yeah, draw your oh, yeah, uh, challenge right. card first, though. Hey. Got to scout four. Crest. We'll, okay. we'll resolve that at the end, though. Okay, scout four. This would be helpful. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Well, you'll get to draw a card at the end, so put that on top. Yep. These are all pretty good. <coughs> oh, you didn't put any on the bottom. Um, okay. All right, then you draw a card. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was part of the action. All right, now let's do crests. 
All right. If there are two active predators, exhaust them. Uh, return one set aside prey to the collection. So there's only one. Yep. If you have three or more fatigue, exhaust. Up here. Oh. The urgency of the ta oh no. The urgency of the task weighs on you. Suffer one fatigue. That's perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a three or more fatigue, exhaust this being. Suffer one. <coughs> excuse me. One injury. Oh. You have three. Oh. Yep. So when you suffer your injury, all your fatigue clears and gets discarded. So oh, you can gosh. you can just discard all that. So you can't get injured again. So discard face down. Or? Uh, face up. Okay. Once they go to your discard, they change to face up. All right, so uh, one injury on both of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just hole up in the outpost. Yeah, I don't have any. I, I don't think. I, I don't think I can make any tests right now. Even with this. All right, Alex, you're out. Oh, oh, can I? I just do this to to scout or to remember my. Uh, oh, no, that no, one. That mind. one is it's, focused. Though there yeah. is an awareness test right here that you you, you might want to check out. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, even if it's exhausted. Yep. Hide. <laughs> <laughs> You're both injured once. Hiding might be for the best. What does it Run do? Away. Away. What does it do? If you away? hide and, and suffer fatigue, then you'll instead put harm on the deep woods. Instead of suffering fatigue, you can just put harm there. It's pretty good because mm -hmm. then you can just uh, interact past things. Like you know, Evan had to suffer that two fatigue from the wool hunt. If he mm -hmm. was on there hiding, that. he okay. could just uh, he could just add harm to the deep woods instead. Kay. Which is super nice, because it is a three presence thing, and it'll get rid of it if it gets to six harm. Okay. Hell yeah. So yeah, I think that's a good test to take. Yep, so it'll just be two. Alright. Doing the test. Alright, zero. Nice. So two, so I put, how do I, how do I mark that? Oh, we need the range Oh, points. yeah. Um, Corey, could you grab uh, our minis from my shelf over there? Yeah, I forget who's... And just grab all four and... Oh, we have the sun. Is zero an odd number? That's no, even number. So yeah, you can move your your miniature yeah. there. You can move your miniature there to the to to represent that you're there. Is that what this symbol is? Token, your ranger token. Yep. Okay. Yeah. In the in the in the base game, you'll get these little punch board tokens that look just like that icon, um, but. It's fun to use these kind of premium minis that Sam painted up. Absolutely. Or right. if you have any so sun you minis that you want to yeah, use. Yeah, or any other minis. Yeah. So we trigger the sun effects? Yeah. Correct. <clears throat> sun so up on the mission, you guys don't have any trail tokens right now. And then right here, uh, this disappears if it has an odd number of progress, but has zero. So cool. neither sun effect affects you right now. Cool. Nice. I could try to hide. You can. Let's, let's do it. All I'm right. desperate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still not grasping what this did. It moved your ranger token to that card. And then what? How does it help me again? And now while your ranger token is on that card, if you were to suffer fatigue, you can instead put harm onto that card. It's kind of like armor. So it like enables that special ability while your, your thing is there? So as long as I'm here at this location, no matter what the round is or whatever. As long as yep. your ranger token is on that card, to be more specific. Because there are things that can move your ranger token off of that. Gotcha. Card. Gotcha. Okay, I got it now. Okay, I got so I'm two. Hiding. I'm hiding. I'm trying to. I'm trying to today get in the mindset of like the story. Oh, you totally. Know? Yeah, you, you're you're kind of using the foliage of the deep woods to mm -hmm. protect yourself from other creatures <laughs> and like keep a distance. What is Evans' character? What does <clears throat> Evans' ranger think of me just hiding? I, He's I, it's a you. good idea. Oh, you're gonna That's come hide. Super good idea. <laughs> yeah, it's cozy. And it looks like it succeeded because there's no threshold to hit. It's just right. a. Yeah, you got it. I got it. Uh, and a mountain effect. If this test succeeded, add one. Well, or if this test added progress, but there was no progress added. Yep, and that one's trail token, so don't need to okay. worry about that. And this is exhausted, so it doesn't go off. Yep. yep. How, how, did you, right. how did you succeed at that? Um, so I used my one. <laughs> my I have one awareness. Uh -huh. I contributed that because that's all I could contribute. I drew the challenge and I got a plus one. All I needed was one to pass. But if it had minus one, you would have yeah. failed. Okay. Then I would have, yeah. Nice. Would have been sad. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have some company Let's under just this rest. log. We should just rest uh, under this log. This huge yeah, what do we do? Dolwood log. What did we do before we hid? We're, We're just, just walking along. We're just walking around. Open. Exhausted. It. You got rid of a wolfhound today. 
Yeah, so I can. Far. Not body, really, but he came back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it the same wolf hound, you know? Maybe it, it's maybe a pack. It's, it's a pack. It's yeah. a pack, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so back to you, Anders. Uh, you're out of energy, so I don't know if there's much you can do. No, I, I don't think so. All right. So you can rest. And Evan. Uh, rest too. Resting, resting as well. Yep. All right, so that's the end of the round. So at the end of the round, uh, you're each going to take one fatigue from your injuries. So take a fatigue. You're going to get all your energy back. You're going to unexhaust all the cards on the board. <laughs> then you can each draw a ranger card. And a path card. And then a path card at the start I'll of the round. That too. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to feel comfortable, you guys. Mm, Good. <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get it. Okay. <clears throat> Did you each draw a ranger card? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, perfect day is clouds will go away a little bit. And then you'll draw a path card. Ooh. There you go. Sunberry Bramble. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is yes. a bramble, so it's, it's got one <laughs> presence from all the thorns. Yeah, right. And then, Evan, draw your path card. Overgrown oh, thicket. thicket. All right. Could have been worse. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, true. Yeah, well, there's one specific thing. That. That. Uh -huh. Would you go first then this round? Since I could. First. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Okay. You can go first okay. this time. Um, do we want to, let's just oh, I did. say what the, the test is on these things we haven't seen. Have we seen the Sunberry Bramble? Uh, I think you saw it. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. They cleared that sick though. Very yeah. good. Um, yes, yeah, so you do have one prey set aside now since you cleared I that sick. I set it aside for oh, nice. mission. Uh, yeah, the Sunberry Bramble has a test on it where you can pluck the fruit to soothe some fatigue. Okay. Which is nice because it gets you that fatigue into your hand. So more cards. Yeah. But if you fail, it fatigues you. Oh, if you soothe the fatigue, the it goes into your hand. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, that's the best way to draw cards in the game. Okay. Soothing fatigue. Yeah, instead of like, so remembering your ranger training is nice because you can like scout your deck and set up the cards you like. But honestly, the best way to get more oh, cards in you. your hand is to play aggressively, take a little bit of fatigue, and then use cards to soothe it to draw them into your hand. Because that like not only gets you progress on the board, but then also gets you more cards in your hand to get more progress on the board. Yeah, and it doesn't uh, put you closer towards ending the day from running out of your ranger cards. Cool. That way. That's cool. All right, so Evan played some Memlov trekking poles. Yeah, and those allow him to uh, traverse with focus instead of fitness, which mm -hmm. is very good for a three, three focus, especially three focus, two fitness character. Yeah, has five energy you can put towards traversing now. Hmm. Your machine. Yeah. All right, Anders, you're up. Okay. Oh. I kind of like the sound of the static sifter that I just drew. There you go. Yeah. After you add one or more harm to a flora, you may add one vittle to this gear. And then when I use one vittle, I could choose a ranger, and that ranger soothes, soothes to fatigue. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. That would, that would work well with this, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play that. Sweet. Nice. And after you add, so I can't add the vittle to it yet. Yeah, okay. that's when you kind of pluck that fruit. Okay. And how do I add Pluck that fruit. <laughs> um, to add harm to this. Yeah, I you'll would. see that when you perform the action to pluck the fruit. Oh, I see. Cool. You'll get a, you'll add a harm because it kind of represents you exhausting the the available fruit from it. So after two, it's going to go away, and your static sifter will basically just get you bonus. You'll get to do this a test, and then that harm will trigger this, which gets you bonus fruit for later, basically. Okay, that's cool. Great. This, this is what I should have done from the start. Oh get yeah. <laughs> Did you draw those in your opening card. hand? Uh, yeah, they've been floating around for a while, but that I, I spent all my spirit. Oh, that's right, connected. connect only yeah. to be punished. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm never no, I'm kidding. You're welcome. <laughs> that's what you, that's what you get. <laughs> trying to understand the wall hunt, you yeah. understand it a little bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> Other wall hunts were like, oh, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I gotta check him out. I do also the like the theme that it just like it liked him so much, just walked around. And <laughs> it just yeah, came yeah. Back. <laughs> Um. And now you're playing Artificer, Evan. Yeah, that's right. stuff out there. Yep. 
Are you, 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 I'm done. <clears throat> yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna um, commit this much. Well, because I already ha have already already have an intention translator. I don't mm -hmm. know how much I'm gonna use that. Yeah. So I'll put all. I'll go all in. Okay. Because awareness, I don't f see using much. Am I wrong? You could use it on the thicket if you wanted to. Right. But, but that's just one presence, so I'm not that concerned with it. Okay. So I'm just going to go for that way. Yeah, okay. commit three. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. And we got zero, so I, I nice. won. So you succeed. Succeeded, and I plucked the thorn-ringed fruit. So we're going to add one harm. Adding one harm. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it would add all the harm. No. no. Uh, just, just one at a time. So you can use it oh. twice. Um, oh, is that what the two is? Or wait, what is the two? Oh, uh, that's the difficulty, that's the difficulty there. Two. And so it says, so you just so you just kind of read and follow the instructions. So it says add one harm. So that's what we did. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when we add that harm, this is going to trigger that, which gets you a vittle on your static sifter. Mm -hmm. And then it says to, uh, to this feature to soothe to fatigue. Uh, if you fail, this feature fatigues you. You didn't fail, so uh, you get to soothe two fatigue. So mm. take uh, up to two fatigue from your fatigue stack and put it in your hand. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to do the crest effects. Crest effects. Okay. Um, up here, we don't have two predators, so we don't need to pay. We don't need to handle that. Over here, though, the urgency of Lund being missing does weigh on you, so you're going to suffer one more fatigue. Worried about him. Yeah. All right. And then no other crests. So you're good. Cool. Okay, um, I'm going to, um, I can't take something out of my discard and attach it, so I'll just read it. Choose an attachment in a ranger's discard. That ranger may immediately play that attachment as if it were in their hand. So if I played this to pull an attachment out of my deck, I couldn't attach it, or could I? Um, attach it to... Yeah, once I have it back in my stuff? hand, yeah, could I attach one... An attachment in my from my deck onto one of his things. It depends on what the attachment says. <clears throat> um, so some attachments attach to other rangers' things, some don't. Thinking about getting this masterwork and eventually attaching it to one of yeah. Anders' things. Yeah. So it says attach to a ranger's equipped gear. So that means any ranger. So you can make anybody's gear masterwork you want. Cool. So yeah. So that that would be a total legit use. Uh, you do have to pay <coughs> for the card, the, the attachment you decide to play. Um, so it says you may immediately play that attachment as if it was in your hand. So, so I'm not spending any energy, so... Yep. Um, but then you have, to, you have to pay the cost of the thing. Yeah, there you go. It's two. So um, So when you perform a test with either one of these, then mm -hmm. you can um, commit an additional effort or commit mm. one effort. Is there one of those pieces of gear that you'd like to uh, have this attached to? Let's... Put it on this one. Well, so unfortunately, no. neither of those have a test on oh, them, so yeah. they're probably not so, a good target. So you want to put it on your trekking poles. If but this doesn't have a test either, does it? No. No, it doesn't, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you don't really have any good uh, good candidate for that yet. Dang it. <laughs> a, good, a good candidate is things like um, a lot of our weapons have different tests on them. A lot of the books also yeah. have tests on them. Hmm. And so those are usually pretty good targets for that kind of thing. Okay, well, I'll just keep it in my hand then. Well, um, so you're going to want to keep Mother of Invention because you only play it as if it were in your hand. So return Masterwork to your discard and just okay. keep Mother of Invention and play it when you right. are ready for it. Mm. Okay. All right, well, in that case, instead of that, um, I'll just do Power Cells on something. Mm-hmm. I can do the same with, I can attach this to one of Anders. Mm -hmm. Just has to be a tech. So it could go on the intention translator. Mm -hmm. um, or I could just put on the poles. <laughs> I'll put it on this just because I feel I like. I would also selfishly yeah. put it on the poles. <laughs> yeah. The poles are so good. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> attach your ranger's equip tech. When you play this attachment, add three tokens to the attached gear. So I'll just move this up to six. And then if this if this discards, then I discard three as a response. Okay. 
All right, Andres, you're up. Okay. So um, I'm gonna try to put progress on the location again. First, you have to deal with the thicket. Oh, the obstacle. Got you. Okie dokie. Um, I'm gonna deal with that thicket, which can only be traversed. Correct. Yeah, you could have used your awareness on it also. Yeah, it's a test on it. Yeah, uh, it yes. has a special test that you can use. But yeah, right now, traverse is your best thing. option. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, this is disturbing. Oh yeah. Um. So... Yeah, I'll just. I'll just do two. All right. And now, since you're interacting past this bramble, it is going to deal fatigue to you. And that that's something I'm happy about. Um, right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because yeah. you can get that right back. So I can then get some more cards with my static sifter. And that when do I use this? As a turn, or? No, any exhaust effect does not take up your turn, so you can do that in addition any to anything Any exhaust else. effect. Gotcha. Okay. That was, this is your energy? Yeah. Zero. There you go. So we're going to add two... Progress. However, however, discard one well, progress. Well, but it's, also it's perfect. Started, yeah, start up here. So it, so it says if this test added progress, add one additional progress. So it goes to three, three. And the next one says discard one progress <laughs> from this feature. And it also fatigues me. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. My static oh, sifter is going to be nice. This, there's a lot of bad stuff happening yeah. here. Exhaust this feature. Search the path deck for the next predator. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and put it into play. So we've come out of hiding. Um, if there's another predator in play, this predator comes into play exhausted, though. So luckily, the, the wool end won't bother you until next round, but it's getting They're crowded like here. Me. Oh, nice. It is getting crowded. Luckily, so this... luckily, you'll be able to take your fatigue from any beings onto the deep woods. So. And the last one's the bramble. If there is an active prey, exhaust it. There is not. Oh, oh prey, prey. Yeah. yeah um. It's very good. Okay. Whew. That was a busy round, a busy turn. They have used up almost every mountain in the deck. Yeah. No, it's, it's wild. So <laughs> that's something to consider. Not a lot. I think there might be one mountain left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two mountains left. Jeez. Yeah. To end that on a happy note, day. I'm just gonna. Exhaust this and use the vittle. There you go. Use my vittle, and I just have to take the two top. Correct. Yep. All right. Well, I guess I'll try to remove this um, by traversing the normal way, not with the memolith trekking pole way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, not too, not focused enough for that, so I'll put in two. Okay. And so you're gonna suffer two fatigue from the wand. Oh yeah, I forgot well, about that, but. You can take it onto the deep woods. Yeah, let's do that. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I was going to do the greaves, but... Save, those, just, save yeah. those for a yeah, yeah. day. Yeah, so as you're trying to move through the deep woods, yeah. it's... Wolhan's getting caught up in the undergrowth. <laughs> Slippery. Hey, hand. plus one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... You did it. I did it. It's gone. Clear that thing. Bye-bye. Okay, it's done, and then it disca or it uh, shuffles the. That's kind of nice. I'm glad it's going to shuffle because we have a lot of crest icons coming you, up. You, you want to get more mountains. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the sun effects. So that ta that top one doesn't apply because you don't have trail yeah. tokens. If there's an odd number of progress on this feature, the strange phenomenon vanishes, but it doesn't have any progress. Um, ready another prowling wool hunt, so he readies. <laughs> and then he readies, but he's already ready. So. No, you wouldn't trigger that one. Oh, you okay. only trigger within reach of yourself. Oh, okay, that's right. All right, Anders, you're up. Okay. Good job, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can make any more. Well, I could tidy up the outpost, I think. I think this outpost is better left untouched. We should just put <laughs> progress on it and get out of here. I don't here. know if I can pro yeah. progress on it, though. <laughs> uh, Anders already used it on the overgrown thing. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So, I mean... You could just rest, also. Just rest. Yeah, I mean, look at us. But we might get some more crap. Is there anything we could, like, do before we rest today? 
Uh, you you do have one spirit, so you could try uh, start connecting with that wool hunt, but it is a difficulty to test. He can reduce it to zero with his roll. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so you could yeah, yeah, reduce that. it to zero with your roll. Wait, what, just, what? Oh, yeah. And then try to connect with the wool hunt. It's not a great chance, um, but you don't have enough fatigue for it to injure you, so it's not super risky to take that test right now. Mm -hmm. Might be worth it. Okay. So I'm going to exhaust this. Uh, so you leave him unexhausted, but you do reduce his presence to zero, which makes connecting with him. Reduce being's presence to zero. Oh, I see. This exhausts, and it reduces that to zero. So yeah. then I can try to connect without risking. risking. Uh, lower risk of failure. Yeah. So, so it's I'm only difficulty one. How does my guardian character do that? So well, so like, hey, hey, hey now. really good at that. Uh -huh. <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this. Uh -huh. Yeah, it kind of... <laughs> While you're doing something else. a little treat. It, exactly, right? Okay. It represents your ability to be, like, good at manipulating others. Yeah, or just understanding the situation. <laughs> yeah. Manip manipulating <laughs> maybe a, a too a negative word. <laughs> right, yeah. I, think I meant manipulating in, like, the... <laughs> <laughs> in the kindest sense. Yeah. <laughs> Is that gaslighting the wolf? <laughs> <laughs> and I... I think, okay, so I'm going to use one of these, because I only have one anyway, and, and then, there you go, zero. It's a mountain. Yay. <laughs> it's a mountain. <laughs> um, that's, that's okay. It's, yeah. So. So two? Put two. Yep. There you go. Alrighty. Another clarifying. So then at the end of, wait, really quick, at when we rest, this will stay. Correct. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, we got the mountain again. This has added progress. Add one additional. That's great. We're happy about the mountain. Yeah. And... and that's the only one you need to worry about. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, the other two don't apply right now. Um, I'm going to rest. Cool. Right. Evan rests. Anders, anything else? Um, He's out of juice. Can, I can't do this. Or uh, I believe you. Did Scott you Lee. did you still have one focus left? Or did you had you used that? No, I think I have this. Okay, yeah. So oh. you can you can scout. Remember, uh, remember your training. Remember you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. To scout ranger cards. So I get to scout one with this. Yeah, you have to do the test first, but yeah. If oh, you it's a test. So you it's do risk. You you risk some. Uh, challenge effects going off. So it, it's kind of a question of like, do you think scouting for that card is worth the challenge effects going off? Um, no, not really. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll rest. All right, so uh, you both rest. Um, so take see, your fatigue from your injuries. Oh, forgot about that. Let's see if we can do it by ourselves. Oh, sure. Should we see? Yeah. So we're going to take a fatigue. Oh, yeah, sorry. We're going to unexhaust things. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. draw, a card. draw range yeah draw a card oh this is on exhaust too this on exhaust mm -hmm. mm -hmm. gonna add our uh, what do you call it effort or what do your you energy call? energy add our energy back and draw a path card yeah and then the last thing would be to oh yeah this down to one so this is the last the last mm -hmm. perfect day cloud gotta make use of it this is okay yeah Oops. Uh, we've got a caustic mulch. Ah, uh, there it I is. I have a feeling that's not a good thing. Uh, let's it's take time it. to flee. <laughs> they, they haven't gotten any progress on the I know. They, do you want to read this whole thing, or what do you want to do? No, so, yes, yeah, so I can just, I, I'll, I'll give you the shorthand version. So, uh, effectively, now that the caustic mulcher has arrived, it will try to grab you and then uh, break your biological components down into, into their bits. Sweet. So, uh, <laughs> it's pretty dangerous uh, biomeld that will try to grab your ranger token. If your ranger token's on it, then you're in danger of, of taking injuries. Perishing? No. Yeah. So, yeah, it will grab your ranger token off of that uh, deep woods and pull it over to its card. So, you so you'll also have... lose your deep woods ability. Yeah. It has, well, a, it has a presence three. It's, it's six harm, nine, nine progress. But also, it has the potential of removing. It can also grab other things. Yeah. It'll hoover up everything in. It is indiscriminate. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But it's not an obstacle, though, right? It's not. You can power right through that thing. And it is a being, Dark so you through. can take you can take that fatigue that you would suffer onto the deep woods as long as the deep woods is still in play. Right. 
How big is that thing? Ten, uh, it's pretty ten foot, pretty huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think you still need to draw your card, Devin. I drew it. Oh, you're, no, you're here. Prep your path card. Oh yeah, sorry. I was just trying to cheat so I don't get another one of. The, oh, <laughs> good. Six good there you go. The buck will help you out. <laughs> it's time to buck up. It's <laughs> 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 fun. You know that Corey thought of that before. Evan. Okay. <laughs> See, now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know. Let's get out of here. You take time and you look <laughs> at what you got and you got to figure out the, you know, the best yeah. route, of ac route, route of action. So here's what I'm thinking, Anders. Okay. I'm best equipped to add progress to the outpost um, so mm -hmm. we can travel away. So I'm going to, I would like to prioritize burning through the uh, deep woods shielding and also the greaves to prevent uh, all of the fatigue I'm going to take by just prioritizing that. Um, okay. Because I could probably, hopefully, get us get a good amount piled on there. But also, there's a lot. I'll be taking and, six. And if you're, I don't know. Oh, you're gonna try to connect, or what are you gonna do with that? Uh, I'm gonna traverse, um, traverse with my through. trekking poles. So yeah, another thing. So if uh, you know, if you burn through all of your um, your hiking greaves and the uh, the deep woods shields, uh, Anders, uh, this is a being. So yeah. you could reduce its presence to zero. Oh yeah, for a to, turn to, to, to for one turn, yeah. one mm -hmm. turn to get through it. So if you if you guys draw well, you could two turns. You could probably mm -hmm. have enough progress on that outpost to get the heck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> But you're you're in a tight spot right now. Things mm -hmm. are things are a little grim. <coughs> I just want to make a, a meta um, observation, just about the game in general. I'm really liking how at the end of a round you're kind of starting over here. You know, because I tend to get overwhelmed with like the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I loved how we just now that I kind of get all the concepts, how we just kind of started over, did our thing, and now we're looking at the board looking at our cards, and we're kind of together planning out what we're going to do for this round. That felt really good. Cool. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm nervous for you guys. I know. That this doesn't is, feel as good. But <laughs> <laughs> they, can, they can do it. I, What's I the worst that could happen? The worst can happen is probably could the game not end? getting any progress <laughs> on the location in these tests for whatever reason. When do you um, say we lost the game? You can't really lose There's the game. There's no losing, necessarily. It's just, uh, it's, you'll either feel like, yes, at the end, or you'll be like, ah, and that's the losing. So like, you, just like life. Just like <laughs> life. bad, like, man, yeah. I failed today. So regardless of how this, this day of the campaign plays out, like whether or not you uh, end it due to you being fatigued out or injured out, uh, or camping the day the day in the campaign will progress and we'll go to the next day There will be some different consequences based on how the day ends like if you camped you'll be able to change your deck around uh, If you are fatigued, you'll still be stuck in the same location. So you have to try to get out of here next day uh, And if you're injured out, then you'll take an injury card into your deck. Mm. That's the worst outcome. Everything okay. else is It's fine. fine. Yeah All right you, so so we need to, yeah. Use what I have if you need to. Should we? Do you want help? So you can only yeah. do that on your turn. So that'll on only really help you. I got you. Uh, but if Evan does his little power through that he was describing, yeah. which I, I think that's a pretty cool idea, mm -hmm. then you could try to finish it off on your turn using your ability and not worrying about taking that any of that fatigue from the mulcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I gotta do. Um, it's gonna clear the the woods and my my thing pretty early on, but uh, we can try it. Okay. So I have a question though. Inventive. Mm -hmm. um, the number of <clears throat> I'm sorry. The number of uh, reason reason, reason <clears throat> on this. <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and cough. <clears throat> The number of reason on this attribute is equal to the number of focus in your energy pool. Can I commit this? Can I do a test without committing any of this? 
So you always need to commit a single effort Okay. Or a single energy, sorry, to the test to attempt it. So you can't just commit cards. So it's kind of pointless to use this in a uh, test where I'm using these. Uh, yeah, so it's better to use it so, like, they're all paired. So it's, like, paired with what it's usually oh, yeah. paired with on the common test. So, you know, you could do a common test by committing one energy in that, and it's that's worth two. And so you'd have three for one energy, which is a pretty good deal. Or if you can find tests that use reason... But one of your other yeah, attributes, you could like do an awareness reason test mm. and get three. That that card's worth three, which is really awesome. So it's you kind of got to be a little strategic about how you use that card. Yeah, like you could be really good at plucking berries. <laughs> Just <laughs> the best berry plucker. <laughs> All right. Well, in this case, I got to be the best traverser. So I think I'll just traverse. Um, Let's go. All right. <laughs> You're just gonna traverse the, the the location. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have yeah. any traverse icons, so. Um, we're just going to have to go ahead and exhaust this, use a charge. Where's the five? There it is. And then when you perform a traverse test, use focus instead of fit. Um, so maybe I just contribute all three of these into it. Would you guys recommend that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, considering you're taking six fatigue to get yeah. there, I'd... Uh... I, yeah. I put everything you got into it. And then as this is happening, I take on one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Oh no. Oh uh, yeah, that's not exhausted yet. Wait, yes. aren't we there? We're there though, right? <clears throat> yes, yeah, but you still take that fatigue. It's still in your way. So you, you'll be able to take <laughs> That's a lot. You'll be able that's to take lot. four of the fatigue on the deep woods. And then three of that, three more. Yeah, so you only be taking two into your actual fatigue stack, but it does deplete your fatigue soaking resources. Yeah, right, so use this. But getting rid of the deep woods is probably pretty good because that yeah. that mountain effect has already gone off way too many times, yeah. and it, that's what's really swamping you here right now. Okay, let's get rid of it. Yeah, let's get rid of it. So these go back to us? Yep. I can, get some, this... I can get some vittles to soothe you as <laughs> that well. That would be great. So that All turns right, so to six. Yeah, so let's let's do the math on it before you okay. destroy everything. Sorry, sorry. Um, so you're taking one, two, three, four, five, six from beings. Mm -hmm. So you're putting four on there, mm -hmm. and then two on your hiking greaves? Yep. And then two. Well, you took two, you took two fatigue, right? Oh, two yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so now that'll clear. So he cleared it before he took the fatigue from it. Is that right? No, he, uh, it won't clear until after. It won't clear this. until after this. So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so yeah, you are still taking the three from that. Right. Unfortunately. Two, three. There you, you go. You can take it here if want it there if you want. Sure. <laughs> oh my god! Go away. You just kicked your way through all this. <laughs> yeah. Those oh, wait. Greaves. So. We actually misused these greaves a bit. These oh, no. greaves don't just straight soak. So when you spend a token off of this, when you perform a test, suffer uh, suffer X fewer fatigue from each card between you and the card. Oh, oh which that's good. Even even that's better. good. So, so actually, um, for each point you spend off of this, everything between you and your yeah, target one is lower so by it's one. Neutralized. So it's four oh. less. Okay. So we're only taking five total fatigue. Well, so, so if we spend... Uh, so, so I apologize. It, we're we're going to rewind this here for a second just so that it's clear. Good catch, Fisher. Um, so let's put two on there. That's where we were. So for each, so you're going to have to choose right now how many of these you want to spend. And for each you spend, all of, all of these numbers <laughs> go down by one. Yeah, do all, do all of them. All right, so then you're just suffering no fatigue. So you cool. Man, you just... Hammered your way through that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, so, so let me let me play devil's advocate. There's an argument to be made that you want to suffer some fatigue to get rid of the deep woods. Yeah. Because if you draw another mountain, you guys are getting another wolf. Oh yeah. Good point. Yeah, we got to get rid of that deep woods. It's hard though because it you can only put stuff from beings on there, and the greaves are gonna if when you reduce these numbers. Hmm. So if you reduce everything by one, you're still now suffering zero, one, two, three from beings. So if you want to get rid of the deep woods, you're going to have to take all the fatigue. Yeah. Which hmm. probably isn't worth it. So that's a hard choice. What are the odds of them drawing another mountain at this point? Pretty 
Probably they were shuffled up again. <laughs> yeah. If I had to guess, it would be seven and twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I'll, I'll just spend all these and not take that right, amount so, of. Yep. So you're just yeah. taking no fatigue. Wow. Yeah. Although I did pull two already, so I'm putting those back. Okay. Nice. I believe it was two. Yeah. yeah. All right. There you go. So you got three effort. Oh yeah, and, and the purpose. All right, of now we're now we're actually doing the test. Yep. Okay. Let's well, go. Um, so you're using focus. Yeah. So four. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. It is. It's very good. Halfway there. Yeah. Halfway there. And then sun. <laughs> and the search mission isn't yep. valid. Uh, if there is another active being, exhaust it and attach it to this biomelt. If not, move your <laughs> you move your ranger token. So let's just get rid of this guy. Yeah. Um, unless is there, is there a benefit? You've already put progress on him, so yeah. Let's get rid of the one that doesn't have progress on it. <laughs> and it's exhausted. exhausted. Oh, yeah. okay, good. <laughs> Monch. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and that was a sun, so trick of the light, nothing. Sitka buck. If there's another active Sitka buck, Exasis being, there isn't, so. All right. That's it. That yeah, worked that's out pretty, pretty great. Yeah. Good catch on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I apologize. I was, uh, yep. I was thinking about um, one of our cloaks, like the camel weave cloak, I think, yeah, is yeah, just yeah. straight up soaking, and so I was misremembering which card it was. All right. Um, I just want to, I really want to make. Put progress on the location. All right, guys? You got it. Yeah. So, to get over there, there's no obstacles in my way, I don't believe. Nope. And I'm going to use my my roll power. Is that what, what, would you, what would you call it? <laughs> Your roll. My roll ability um, to reduce the mulcher to zero. Very good. But I... I Go on. Go ahead. No, go, go. All right. Well, let me go, go ahead. Go. Carry on. Sorry. I'm, I'm backseat. I'm doing the very thing that we said we'd do less of. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said I'd do less of. So yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can do as much backseat driving as you want. I'm filling yeah. the space. Here, let's, get, let's give you like a counter for how many times you can do yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got four left. All right. Well, we make a, quor a quarterbacking jar. Every time I quarterback, I add a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> You're exhausted. <laughs> I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm now, I'm now I'm just really overthinking what what could I do better here? No, no, carry on. Don't overthink it. Just go. Let's see, he said it when I said exhaust this. Or, or reduce this to zero. What else would I? <laughs> this is my fault. It is your fault. Okay, I'll just skip it. I'll just do what I was going to do. Yeah, yeah. Listen to your heart. There's no consequences really here. Um, so I'm going to be taking two, three... Four, five, six. Six fatigue, Ooh. and that will help get rid of this, though, as well, right? Uh, only the fatigue from the wool hunt. From be only fatigue uh, from beings can you apply to that harm? That's okay. So, oh, like so you'll be taking four? Four. So we'll put, should I do this now? Yeah, so you put two should on I now? do the fatigue right away? Yeah, I do it right now. Okay. And then I take, so I've reduced that to zero, so I'm taking Four. Four. Yeah, one from the Bramble and then three from the Deep Woods. Okay. Oof. But I'm going to get some more Vittles after oh, this. Yeah, I gotta this. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I could go over some Vittles right now, actually, for my real life self. Um, <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, we're going to get Vittles soon, you guys. <laughs> um, is there a good Vittles spot around here? <laughs> <laughs> um, so then I'm going to. Uh, I like to cut this, Evan. A test, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna commit three effort to that outpost. That's all I got to commit. All right. Ooh, Let's all get right. the plus one. Let's get the plus one. Uh, I cut it in the right way. So oh. minus one. Oh no! Sorry. So it's zero. No wait. No. Oh, only if I lose, I take this. Yes. Okay. So you you, were, you still succeeded. You got so I got two on it. Two on there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. We're, to six. we're searching for. Um, Eight. Okay, and then we're taking the crest. Wait, yes. Um, we've got the crest here. Oof. And we just side. There's a lot of crests out here. <laughs> so we'll start here. Thirty-two active predators. They're not. They're, They're not. not. The, the, 
The mulcher is just a biomelt. The urgency of finding Lun is weighing on me still, so I'll suffer another fatigue. Do I do that as well? No. No. <laughs> I don't care about Lun. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> if there's an active Sitka Doe, there's not. No, this, this. Oh, that's him. That's right. One, yeah. If you have three or more fatigue, exhaust this being. Okay, I do. But I suffer one injury. And Ouch. No, injury's this. Dang. Yeah. Yep, so you're going to take another one of those, one more, and it'll end the day on you. Yeah. Oh, and gosh. when you suffer the injury, all your fatigue gets dumped into your discard, unfortunately. Dang. That's brutal. That was rough, yeah. That was rough. But we're getting closer. You've almost to gotten out of here. here. Yeah. yeah, no, this has been. This little rickety outpost has been more <laughs> trouble it's, than it's dang- The woods up here are kind of dangerous. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it, it, what are we going to come out of here with? Anything? Mm. You got a mission for Lun. We got a mission for Lun. And you have with one, one prey. praying right now. Yeah, cool. Okay, oh. did I do everything? <laughs> Am I done? Yeah. Can we, for, for the thumbnail for this, can we like have the two of you trapped <laughs> in the deep woods? <laughs> yeah. I'm curious what you were going to say. Yeah. Huh? What you oh, say? I, I was going to recommend that you don't reduce the caustic mulcher's presence, so that you can get enough, put enough harm on the deep woods to get rid of it. Mm. Because if you had drawn a mountain, you would have drawn yet another predator, which would have been a lot of cards on the board. Yeah, cool. he could have also taken a turn to uh, clear that wool hunt. That's true. Yeah, connect with it. Yep, because he was pretty close. But no, it's fine. Yeah, you did good, and I, I, I should stop. I need a quarterbacking drawer. So, go ahead, Evan. Okay, so still prioritizing the outpost. I don't even care about the fatigue at this point. I'm committed. Um, but the only way I can do it is committing two energy so, uh, from fitness. I don't know if that's good enough. It would be mm. exactly good enough if you drew a zero. Yeah, I know. Right. I, know. That's, that's, I, I can tell that Andrew loves gambling. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I do, too. That's what makes yeah. it fun. Let's do it. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm taking one, two, three, four, seven <laughs> fatigue, but I can put I can put four of it here. Uh, or only two, two more. Only two yeah. more. Yeah. So I'm taking five fatigue, and that goes away. Oof. Yeah, but you could get out of here. Okay. I mean, you're still be in a better shape than Anders is right now. That's true. It's okay. If you took five. So the day the day ends when either of you run out. So you know, if one person's way ahead, the other person can has some yeah. leeway to yeah, take yeah. some fatigue. Okay, uh, got to do that. So, two goes to here, and then this clears. Mm-hmm. So, you get your figure back, and then I take five. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you. There goes all my moments of desperation. I'll give you some guaranteed. Riddles. Just soothe a bunch of fatigue. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, and then let's go. Oh come on. <laughs> Hey! hey. Oh, we're out of here. <laughs> oh man, we're out of here, folks. Oh. oh, I was nervous about that one. <laughs> so, does this trigger still, or do we? Yeah. So you won't you won't travel until the end of the day. Yeah. Okay. Or end of the round. Oh, end of the yeah. Sorry, well, end, I'm gonna end of rest the round. after this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get some vittles. Yeah, you got stuff <laughs> that you can do now. I feel relieved um. right now. Move one That's a good moment. Oh, that doesn't do, that. do anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if there's another active being, oh, cool. <laughs> um, atta- exhaust it and attach it to this biomeld. If not, <laughs> move it's just sucking things up. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Um, nothing there, and then that's it. Yep. <clears throat> okay. All right. Wow. There you go. Pressure's right. off. Now you can sit back and soothe that fatigue. <laughs> yeah. Eat those berries. Uh, I can't perform that test. Oh, that's right. They do have the berries still. That's that's good. Uh huh. I can't do it though. Yeah, you don't have any fatigue left, sadly. Can I eat berries? <laughs> um, but I could. Yeah, Wait, how do I collect a vittel? <laughs> By putting harm on flora. Yeah, but I can't. I can't put harm on that flora. I mean, you, you could do well, it. You just don't have any fatigue to soothe with eating the fruit. So you kind of have to choose. If you did the test, You'd be able to store up a vittle, yeah. but if Evan does the test, he can actually benefit from the. I can just use awareness, right though. I don't need to use awareness plus this. You, Correct. Yeah, right. you're um, gonna always just use the energy. So I can do that two times to get two vittles. Well, no, because he need he needs two though. Yeah, but he could draw plus one. Oh, that's right. Theoretically, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. I'll try to get one vittle. Yeah, because I guess you can spend the vittle to soothe Evan. Yeah. And, uh, 
you're more likely to succeed at that test since Evan only has one awareness. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Minus one. That's okay. I didn't. Um, mm -hmm. so, so I get a viddle. But no, because the test oh. is two. Oh, it needs to get two. It does fatigue you, though. <laughs> it will fatigue you, yeah. <laughs> that because you failed. Because I failed. Oh. Crummy old bramble. <laughs> that, so was, get, that was a failure. Yeah, yeah so, so you, you, you get poked by one of its thorns, take oh. a fatigue. <laughs> um. All right, Evan. Yeah, well, I I mean, I, I could and get a plus one. we didn't need to do any mountain. No, none of the mountain effects uh, mattered. Mattered. I think maybe I just rest. Or should I try it? I don't know. I I feel like I either... The worst thing you can do is take a fatigue. I don't, I don't get it. So you're taking a fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. It's not necessarily the worst thing that can happen. <laughs> oh. If oh, no. Another active being, exhaust it, and attach it to this biomeld. If not, move your ranger token <laughs> to this biomeld. <laughs> Help! Ah! Now I got things to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were so we were sitting. It's okay. You can still travel away. Can you? Yeah. With the thing on the mulcher? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh wait, no, you can't. How do we know? It says when your ranger token is on this bio mold, you cannot travel. Sorry. Oh no. So you guys are trapped here now. So we have to perform this. Oh, why did? Why did we tell him to flick the fruit? I <laughs> wouldn't tell him to do it. He said he wanted to. Risky, <laughs> risky. So to get off this... So now you just need to pull him out of there. I do? Oh no. To perform that test, well, but I can't. I can't. Well, next turn. Yeah, yeah. So we have to rest. Yeah. Before we travel. <gasps> yeah. There's nothing much I think I can really do. You can connect with that wool hunt and get rid of it. Oh, okay. But you could also end up with your ranger token on the Cosmic Mulcher also. Right. But I, <laughs> I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> I would take every risk. I think. I think it's... I mean, the good news about them both being on there is they get a plus one when interacting with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, he's not, it's not so hard to get him off. You're just going to have to, and you're not going to draw an obstacle because we've already drawn only two obstacles. Is, so, it, is it my turn now? Yep. Is your turn, yep. I'm just going to rest. Okay, I'm going to use... There you uh, go. Ooh. Now, you're, now you're playing a card game. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I am. There you go. <laughs> okay, so I'm committing four effort because I'm using my intention translator to con really connect with this Vodahound. Made it. Made it. And we're looking for... Haha. <laughs> got it. We got him. So... <clears throat> Don't even need to count, right? He's he's. Oh yeah, he's. You he super got him. <laughs> super connect. Oh no. And it's uh, this is not a prey, so it doesn't go there. It goes here. Correct. <laughs> Crest. Add. So first. Lure the, first. Here. Yeah. First it's gonna. Oh. First it's gonna. Well, what's lure? <laughs> lure. This if is day two as a misadventure. If there are two so competitors, so, there this aren't. This is so amazing. The urgency of the task weighs on you. Of course, I gotta mm -hmm, find mm -hmm. that guy. I don't like it very much. <laughs> and go on. And it says I have to add my add harm to each being attached to this biomeld. Each ranger with their ranger token on this biomeld suffers one injury. Oh shit! Ouch. Does that mean I'm done? No, no you're not. I'm, on you're, I'm on it. Oh, each ranger. Oh, I see. now we both have two injuries. Okay. And then all your yeah, you discard all your fatigue. Oh, good. Oh good no. <laughs> Sorry, even that ram. That, I hope we. I'm Fiddle. pretty sure uh, Anders and Evan had like one of the best day ones yeah. I've ever seen, and now they're having one of the yeah. worst day twos yeah. I've ever seen. Wow. I feel like <laughs> thematically, so I fought my way through the woods, and I'm, I turn to look back at Anders, and then like the bio meld arm swoops me up. It was more like you're like, oh, this berry looks delicious, <laughs> and then you reached out for it, and instead yeah. of grabbing a berry, you were like grabbed oh. by a tentacle, and then <laughs> yikes, dragged the into the mulcher's grip. Mm. Uh, well, I'm resting. So, hey, you had a big day. Yeah, it was a very big day. Really? And if I, if the day's gonna end. The day, the day will end if just I kick back. take another harm. Just for both of you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, for both. So you're entangled in the cosmic motion. You're just gonna take a rest. Take a what breather? else can you do at this just point? Yeah. Hope for the best tomorrow. Or is it not? It's not the day. That you, you're just resting. We're still. In they the say day. when this a, is still the day. Yeah. They say when a bio mold gets hold of you, you just go limp. And, I mean, what's what? Is, what better way to go limp than just simply rest? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, don't resist. <laughs> Read a book. Um, okay. 
Well, yeah, I guess we'll rest, huh? Probably I already rested. <laughs> Probably good I guess idea. I'll rest. Yeah, there's nothing to do. Resting. All right. Yeah, so yeah. Three. So I, I'm going to put a quarter in the quarterbacking jar here just to say this much. Yeah. Okay. I would, I would say the best course of action is to get, rip Evan off of that thing. Travel. And then rest. Yeah. Oh, do and nothing then rest. else. Just rest. Get him off, rest, and then get the heck out. Sure. Sounds good to me. Yeah, in retrospect, uh, maybe should have, when, when you had the location clear and we may, the, should have maybe just fled at that moment. We went, we got around and travel. I, I think it's a good lesson. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good lesson both for them to learn and for the audience. Like, hey, if you, if it's, if you, as soon as you let down your guard, just know that things could go your sideways. Plan can, your yeah. plans can be dashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure to be aware of all the possibilities just I, in case. I had forgotten that the caustic vulture stops you from traveling because during a lot of development it didn't stop you. Yeah, I think we added it later. Yes, because I, it always bugged me that you could just travel, travel away yeah. when you're oh, in yeah. vulture's grip. So Makes sense. It's my fault. <laughs> Thanks oh, much, a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> Makes for a much better game. So we draw a ranger card and then we draw a path card? Yeah. After we've unexhausted oh, everything? Yeah. And we're going to flip over to the Midday Sun. <laughs> uh, and just to be clear, the, the, the Sikabuck or the Wolhund ready under the Caustic Mulcher? Uh, beings attached to this being do not ready. There you go. So they stay exhausted down there. Cool. Did you draw your path card? Yeah, oh, no, I didn't. Did you draw a path card? Yep, yep. Okay. And actually, if the even if the, the Mulcher clears them, they still count as clearing for the lure exactly. mission. You yeah. can still collect the, the bits to, 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 to feed to quiet. <laughs> so it's actually pretty, Mulcher's actually pretty efficient for getting your lure mission. Yeah, here's, this, here's this slurry, see if the... Uh, <laughs> See well, if the predator is interested. Um, I'll just try to rest, as in wrestle. W. Rest. Oh yeah, yeah. R if you, unless you want to go first. So yeah. if uh, if Anders does it for you, he'll get a plus one to the test. Oh, from your ranger I'm helping token. You. <laughs> How, why is that? I'm like tickling Anytime it, your ranger token is it. on a card and you're interacting with that card, um, you'll confer uh, a plus one to anyone who's interacting with it. So. Uh, if Evan did a test here, he wouldn't get a bonus because this is his token. But since mm -hmm. you're doing it, he's there. You're both working We're together. Both doing it together. He's like, grab my hand. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll start. Um, rest. Oh, and how much do I need to get? I need to get two. Yep, get two, or, two or more. Two or more. And you're gonna get an auto plus one. So you really just need one or more. Ultimately. So I don't need to put that much in. I <laughs> yeah. Given given how today's been going, I'm sure yeah. you'll Just straight up. Well, I mean, I might as well do this. Let's be thorough. Let's be thorough <laughs> in getting you out of there. Oh dang. Okay. Please. So you're yeah. you're just guaranteeing six. Yeah, we're guaranteeing. All right. Yeah. Very good. So we got four. That's the way. That's the way to go. It's one more five. than you need, even. Yeah. Committing five. Yeah. And yeah. So oh, and you got a plus one. <laughs> well, I should have just kept this. But <laughs> too late. <laughs> Oh, good. These, good thing these bucks showed up. Save, <laughs> yeah, I know. Save your bacon in this moment. <laughs> oh, that's right, because it's a sun. Yeah. yeah, so you got a sun. So anyway, so so first things first. First, you'll pull Evan's token off of there. Thank you. Uh, you so you rest them free of the mulcher's grasp to exhaust this biomeld. Then remove. Uh, so yeah, so we're removing that. I guess you could have rested the buck free if you wanted to. That'd be so funny. <laughs> Hilarious. We got to get lures have in there. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so if you had, if you had pulled one free, then you just put it into in, into play. Obviously, if there's an NPC in there, yeah. that's something you might want to do. All right, now do the suns. Okay, we're collecting lures for the yeah that too. Yeah. Okay, midnight or the midday sun or whatever. <laughs> midnight sun. <laughs> midnight sun. That's cool. Uh, that's really uh, okay. it's Marvel's the, Midnight Sun. Yeah, it's also a new video game, the Midnight Suns. <laughs> oh yeah, that's okay. That's the Marvel game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Suffer one fatigue. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, they must have come this way. That one doesn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> this one doesn't do anything. If there's another active Sitka buck, exhaust this being. There's not. Because it's oh. only, only active to you, so you don't look at Evans. Okay, that's one thing I gotta remember. Cool. Yeah, I have to remember that too. You did it. 
All right, so we're traveling away now. Well, you'd, re- you'd technically you'd rest and yeah, you'd travel. Resting yeah, resting for sure. Why resting? Because that ends the, the, after you rest, that's when you can decide to travel if you have enough tokens. On oh, okay. That. So it's at the end of the round that you decide to travel. So you can just choose to end the round even though you have a bunch of energy, just so that you don't risk more challenges. I would say the only thing that you should do with your energy at this point, if you want to do anything more before you travel, just play cards from your hand into play. Okay. But I would do. I would not. Do we need to put the mulch? The mulcher is. I was putting a quarter yeah, in the sorry, backing jack. I, I, I open up. Is the it not a threat it's, right now, though? It's not a threat, but. But I want to see if I can get more vittles. Oh my oh. God, you guys. It's well, going to grab me what's, again. What's, what's the risk? Fine. Just, you're fine, yeah. Why would it grab you? It's yeah, exhausted, it right? right? Yeah, 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 see, exactly. What's the worst thing? Okay, happen? yeah, I'm going to get some. There's really, actually, that's true. There's, it's pretty safe right now. And that may have. What could possibly go wrong? And then we got good TV. <laughs> um, it is kind of, it is kind of a risk, though. I probably won't. I do it. Just I'll just do try it. to get a vittle. Yeah, do it. Okay, uh, I think that's the most I can commit to it. Yeah. All right, I got a vittle. Yay. Nice. <laughs> and uh, and you soothe f- fatigue from eating the berries. So nice. And you put another harm on it. And I put another harm on it. Yeah. So it's gone. It We're leaving anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. So okay. that clears soothe to fatigue. Soothe two. Yeah. All right. I have this a question. Great. See, see. If we <laughs> somehow got lucky and, and there's Hartel's go, vaulting right. If this was active, is there a game state in which these two beings would continue to take more damage or mm-hmm. harm? So would then would they then become? Um, yes, they would. <laughs> only the only the buck though. Oh, oh yeah, pray, pray. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, That's not worth the it. Buck. That's yeah. not worth it. So you could try to clear these bucks if you wanted to in this moment <clears throat> if you felt like you could. Yeah, connecting connecting with that buck to add him to the prey counter. Or yeah, the, there's the a world counter. where you could uh, connect with that buck on on yours uh, your turn, honors, because mm. you could. <laughs> it's that's kind of mean to that buck. Cause you're like, oh, come here, come here, uh-huh. come on, buddy. <laughs> Everything will be cool. <laughs> here. But it's it's kind of sacrificing itself for the greater good because this <laughs> this monster is out there. That's right. And it'd probably eat it anyway. So yeah, you can know, yeah, right. you all the way. <laughs> oh. You're like, all right, you stay there. <laughs> but yeah, you could you could potentially clear that if you drew a plus one and used your translator. I love the idea of trying to do that. I really want to get some bait for this. Do it. Are, are we confronting quiet today, though? And when we when we <laughs> no, travel, does this stay, or is, at the end of the day, these go away? That's true. I guess they might not be confronting quiet today, but who knows? Yeah. Uh, they they would go away. Yeah. You'd so have you have to, to you have to complete. Yeah, you do get the missions back day to day, but unless they specifically have you write oh, something on your campaign guide, we reset the whole game. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe it's time yeah. to travel. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. We're an hour and forty. Okay. All right. So I think yeah. Let's uh, let's let's travel away. Let's pick where you're going, and then uh, oh yeah, with the next so next video we'll be we'll in wrap the new location. Up, wrap up this episode. So we are at this northern outpost that was quite the adventure. <laughs> um, we can go to Mount Nim, or. Atrox, how do you pronounce it? Atrox? Atrox. Atrox Mountain. Or back to or the back, Golden Shore. Or back to Golden Shore. I think for the sake of exploring new path types, we should go to Mount Nim. Yeah, I like the, I like the so name. So we can check out what the mountain pass looks like. For sure. We're going to Mount Nim next episode, people. All right, heading along. Ooh, yeah, the mountain. You're going to love the mountain pass, the mountain terrain. It's going to be great. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. I had a lot of fun today. I finally feel like I'm getting there, and uh, see you for as we continue um, day two next time on the Earthborn Games Playcast. <laughs> <laughs> see you, everyone. <laughs>